Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Tableau in 2 Minutes. Today we're going to be showing you a method for dynamically hiding different parts of a table calculation um, when you don't want them to show up on your dashboard. So let me show you what I mean. First of all, we're going to connect to our Superstore dataset. We're going to use the orders and then we're just going to go ahead and, and create a simple line graph of year over year growth of sales. So we're going to take order date expand that out to the month level and then we're going to take our sales drop them onto the rows shelf here oh my goodness I can't hit it there we go drop that onto the rows shelf and then set this up to be year over year growth now you'll see that obviously for the first year since we don't have anything to compare to we have null values in there and this is a little bit ugly we wouldn't necessarily want to add this to a dashboard in this particular state without making sure that we hide that now one way to do that is to just hide 2014 but of course then if our data changes and we have a different starting year then 2014 will stay hidden but for example 2015 would show up so that's not particularly helpful the easiest way to do this is to click on the sum of sales hit filter and you don't actually need to make any changes here but you want to make sure the include null values is unchecked and then once you apply this filter you'll see that 2014 is hidden but we do have the values for um, for 2015, 16, and 17. This will change, so if we added a filter and for example we removed 14 and 15, then we would just have 2017, because 2016 is our first year, that will all be null, and then we're calculating the year over year growth into 2017. Now, what's helpful is understanding how to do this uh, yourself, because again, that gives you a little bit more flexibility. Um, so we're going to come up with a slightly different scenario. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag sales out here. We're going to take our order date, and we're just going to look at the last two years. So we're just going to look at 16 and 17, and then we're going to turn this sum of sales into a table calculation with year over year growth, and then I'm going to drag sales out next to it. So now we have two different things, right? We have one that has a value for 2016, one that doesn't have a value for 2016. Now we could use the same technique in this particular case to hide the null values and that would hide 2016, but there are situations where that's not necessarily going to work. So it helps to have a way of only keeping the most recent year, that's the one with complete values, while excluding anything um, or hiding rather anything that may have values because we can't exclude them because then 2017 will be the first year and we wouldn't have any values there. So we want to hide not filter these values. To do that we're going to create a calculated field that we're going to call show hide and it's just going to be an if statement. And what we want to say is if the year of order date is the same as the maximum year of order date then we want to hide it otherwise I'm sorry then we want to show it otherwise we want to hide it now obviously this is not going to work it's not going to work because I'm actually comparing a row level calculation to a aggregate calculation and the way we turn aggregate calculations into row calculations is by using a level of detail calculation so now this is comparing the year of the order date to the maximum year of the order date across the whole data set. And it's saying that if this year is the same as the maximum year in all of our data set, then we want to show it. Otherwise, we want to hide it. So let's go ahead and apply this, and then let's drag this out above the year. We're going to have to change something, because this will obviously impact the way the table calculation works. So we just want to make sure it's also included in the table calculation, so we continue to get this nice, neat, um, nice, neat set here. And now you can see that because we have a show on this one and a hide on this one we can hide 2016 without actually hiding 2016 what we're doing is we're hiding the hide column which is the first year of our data and we're keeping the show column which is the most recent year of our data that will obviously dynamically calculate depending on what those two years are so this may not be 2017 it may be 2018 as we roll into next year uh, maybe 2000 sorry 2018 as we add the new year's data to this data set or maybe 2019 as we roll into next year now the one thing that's left obviously is that we have headers on here which are a bit ugly so we can go ahead and just uncheck show headers and then here we have a visualization that looks basically the same as it would if we just had 2017 in there but we've hidden the prior data that we're using to base 
uh, using as the base for our table calculation. So that's how you could uh, hide something dynamically if you needed to do that um, without using just filtering for nulls in the in the sum of sales table calculation. That about does it for this episode of Tableau in two minutes. If you have any questions, then please leave them in the comments. If you like what you hear, then please subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time.